Hmm, I'm wondering where Tom is. And I'm wondering where y'all are. <laughs> no. It's my bad for just jumping right on. But that's what I wanted to do. Uh, and it's my channel. I get to do whatever the heck I want to. But I do need time here so we can have a, at least more than one person yeah. tasting stuff. Hmm. So. Uh, the clouds rolled away. The sun came out. There seems to be a few chemtrails up there, so I'm wondering if it's going to rain again. There's Tom. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Tom? You going to come in? Oh, what are we doing? You going to have a donut? Oh, those are for I you, buddy. Those are for you, buddy. I know. Hmm. How are y'all doing? On this awesome Thursday, I've had a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I'm really glad to be close to the end of the day and finally, uh, uh, finally, uh, hey, and your package went out, Gerald Farms, uh, finally be able to uh, sit down and be with my family. Because I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to happen. Kind of. It's a lot of talk, Dad. I know. And uh, I'm not really a, that kind of a sauce guy. Uh, no barbecue? I don't think so. I don't Teriyaki. know. I don't know. We got to try it. Uh, it's supposed to be hot sauce. But it kind of it kind of looks barbecue-y. Pucker Bud is the shiz. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I think it sounds good. So, guys, now that we're getting some people, see that thumbs up button way up here? No. Way up here, Tom. Was, Where, where'd it go? Uh, was, uh, uh, there it is. I was looking for it. Thumbs up. Yeah, I can't do it. Everybody's got to smash that thumbs up. I don't know. We got to hit this button down here and make party things happen. I can do the hard And we got to like, subscribe, and share. Hey, Tom, how many people do I have? 28. No, I mean in total. I what? haven't even looked at that for a while. Let's see. I'll try to go on YouTube here. And... Yeah, you try to go on YouTube and tell me where the thumbs up is. Oh. We can do that. Why don't you talk to guys while I'm doing that? About what? About uh, whatever you want. Well, tomorrow is Good Friday. Finally, my Lord I and Savior dies for my sins. Not at me. She takes the time to answer me. Sunday is the day he rose again. So we celebrate Easter. Yay. Yay. See, you don't have no thumbs up either. I don't think I have a thumbs up, Tom, because it's me. No, I don't have a thumbs up. I don't know how to get the thumbs up. I'm not you. Maybe we got to go sideways. If Heather was here, she could tell me how to do the thumbs up. But she's not. I don't know. We're giving it a try, guys. It says Tom's the bomb. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's a nice day here in the Carolinas. Sun shining, beautiful weather. Yesterday was miserable, cold Rep and rainy. Yesterday was <laughs> miserable. I don't know how to do this. Uh, this is funny. Uh, my good friend Vic Klinko uh, sent me a text. Apparently, in one of the drama sites on uh, Facebook for Peppers, they're questioning me uh, who farts underneath their blanket each night with their wife, Ed Curry or Vic Klinko. Uh, it's, 
hey, passing gas is part of life, baby. I, I don't, I'm not ashamed. I want to find that. Vic, I'm live on Facebook, and I just said that you fart more. Is it in, pe is it in Pepper Wars? Yeah, it in? it's in Pepper Wars. Uh, and, uh, you know, things are going good, man, and we're having a good day. Yeah, it's drama for your mama, but it was kind of funny. I like a good fart joke every once in a while. And, you know... I have little kids. They're 10 and 12, so I love farting on them. That's just part of life. So, uh, the, the store. Store. Oh, I'm, I'm not giving anybody a word. I Vic sent it to me. I love my friend Vic. He's just making a joke out of it. Yeah, it, it's, it's in Pepper Wars. Hmm. <laughs> uh, don't even need to know Tom so the guys at the store asked us to review these Danielle sauces they were next to us at uh, Albuquerque uh, and apparently everybody loves them but honestly I didn't get a chance to try so uh, Tom do you want to get the spoons or you want me to what you want spoons? Yeah. Uh, now you got me on Facebook looking at Pepper Wars. Uh-oh. So this one is called teriyaki. It's made for stir-fry and rice bowls. Uh, it has water, sugar, cornstarch, wheat, soybean, salt, distilled vinegar, citric acid, ginger, and garlic. So, hmm. I don't know why it's called teriyaki then. I mean, it wouldn't be my idea of teriyaki, but let's see how it tastes. It's a uh, allergen nightmare, and I don't see any allergen labels on it. Tastes like teriyaki. Kind of. Teriyaki. Yeah, it does taste like teriyaki. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, it's got that, it's got that, barbecue feel to it uh but it predominantly teriyaki uh we're probably coming out with purgatory again just so you know uh so tom thumbs up thumbs down thumbs in the middle it's teriyaki yeah i, I, I mean mm. it, there's no spice to it though it's teriyaki sauce What's a good chocolate sauce? Is there any peppers in it? No. no what's peppers. what's a good so, chocolate sauce? Teriyaki. Well, we make a couple of chocolate sauces. We make a hot and mild version of each. One is chocolate strawberry, and the other one is chocolate brandy cherries. And both of those are pretty good. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, we... Uh, are having a sale right now, and if you buy three products, any smoking at or pucker butt products, you get a spice for free, and you can mix up any of those products. And you guys are the only ones to know that there are actually hoodies for sale. And uh, I'm going to show you something new here. This is smoking spice barbecue. Smoking spice barbecue. That's good. Barbecue. And it's got a little spice to it. Go jackets. You need to go to a uh you need to go to a website called Hotbox 505. It's they hot. sell a mild, a medium, and a hot. Uh, version of their hot sauce and I I gave them the El Jefe recipe they're good friends we're trying to support them and you just go to Hotbox 505 and you can buy any of the El Jefes what are you doing Tom you reading 
Yeah, I'm wondering where the calcium and iron and stuff comes from. Potassium. Calcium, tomatoes? I, I, well, tomatoes do have those but in them. But that high of a percentage on a sauce? Well, tomato paste is the third ingredient. Yeah. Uh, Tastes like barbecue. I like it. I'd take it home. Yeah. I'd barbecue up some. There you go, Tom. That's for you. Wee! Uh, yeah, that, that was good barbecue sauce. Thumbs up. So sweet and spicy. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I don't know, Tom. It won't do it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, out of memory, what am I looking forward to in 2024? I am looking forward to getting a new deck on my house. I'm looking forward to going out on the lake and relaxing a little. Spending some more time with my family. And going to the... 26 events we've got planned so far that we'll be at so uh you know pretty much that's what i'm looking forward to i miss sitting out on my deck but uh i haven't repaired it in a few years and the last guy I paid to repair it uh we didn't stain it so it's i gotta get it done yeah that, jesus is the plan what's that sweet okay barbecue sauce all we're gonna we're gonna taste that one sweet barbecue by danielle's if you didn't hear we're reviewing all the danielle sauces i don't think it's all of them uh, i've seen her at shows and she has more than that uh and we sell them at the store and my whole team loves them i'm trying them for the first time this one is yeah. called sweet barbecue sauce it's a Kansas City style. It's sweet. It's sweet and it's barbecue. Linda will love this one. I'm taking this one home. All right. Thumbs up. So far. And there's no yeah. sodium in that one either? Yeah. No sodium. No sodium. Yeah. That's good for you. Oh, look. The thumbs up happened. Yeah. The only reason Tom is here is sauce. No, that's not true. Uh, the reason Tom is here is because he's my brother from another mother. And we spend a lot of time together. And Tom does a lot of cooking, and I do a lot of emails, and we bottle up sauce, and we do all sorts of stuff back there with powder, and we just like working together. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I see. Mike Pete texts, and he says we're carrying all the sauces that they have now. Oh, and I can't wait to get that bill. We <laughs> You know. I mean people sodium free barbecue sauce, a good sodium free barbecue sauce is kind of hard to find. Gluten free, low sodium, fat free, award winning. This one's called sweet chili sauce. What chilies do they use in it? Let's see. Uh Gluten sugar. Free. Are our sauces red chilies and bell pepper what aren't most sauces gluten free except for my gluten sauce your gluten sauce yeah one of my one of my uh workers wanted me to uh uh make a sauce that's just gluten <laughs> straight gluten straight i want to do the 14 allergens all 14 allergens in one sauce you can get some of that powdered shrimp Mmm, powdered shrimp or powdered crayfish. That's even worse. It's not really hot. It's not really hot, and it's a little too sweet for me, but I can see how people oh, would wings? like it. Can you imagine this on wings? Oh, does that mean you want to take that one home too? I don't really make wings at my house. but Wow, you just double dipped in there. No, I took a new spoon. Oh, I just okay. tried it twice. Mmm. I like it. It's sweet. Mm, it is sweet. And it's... Okay. I forgot to tell you guys. You're supposed to smash that thumbs up button up there. You're also uh, supposed to hit the button down here. Uh, and we want you to like, subscribe, and share. 
we're trying to get this channel to 150,000 uh, real viewers, not by no bought viewers, no people who are going to sign up and not watch. I want real people who want to participate in, in our madness. I got a whole box of spins. They want to participate in our madness, have fun, and get free stuff because we give away free stuff quite a bit. Like tomorrow at 3.30. We're going to be giving away free stuff. Oh, I forgot to pick up the free stuff, Don. What? I asked David to get 10 cases ready for me. It is better than Arby's. I like Arby's horsey sauce, though. Who said Arby's? Somebody asked if it was better than Arby's. I said, yeah, it's better than Arby's. Oh, you know who might like that? Well, not me. Well, I know you're taking it, but actually, Katie might like that one. Well, you want to take it to Katie? No, I'm not going to take it to Katie. Uh, but I'm just saying, she might like it. And I'm getting all these ideas. I have like four chicken breasts at home that I got to figure out something to do with tonight. You just figured out something to do, yeah, Tom. Like... The next one is sweet habanero sauce. They should just call them barbecue sauces. That's what they are. When your first ingredient is sugar, it's a barbecue sauce. Uh, like this has red chilies and habanero. Modified cornstarch, vinegar, salt, garlic, onions, potassium something, and potassium something else. Why do you like the silencer? Who likes the silencer? Uh, something book. Some book. Hula, hula book? Mm. Hula book? I can't read. Hula book likes the silencer. You're the one double dipping. You've only got one spoon. I've I been cleaning my spoon. Mm. That's what I have this for, Tom. I'm cleaning it. Yeah, not a fan of this one. Mm. No, not for me. It does have some spice to it, though. It is hotter than the one, other ones we've tried, but. Mm. So is the cornstarch what keeps it together? Yeah. Where can you buy a reaper plant live? Well, you can try like uh, Cross Country Nursery or Jim Duffy. What's Jim's? What's Jim's company called? Oh man, now you got me. Uh, uh, we used to order plants from him all the time. He has really good live plants. Yeah, he does. Uh, there's another and place in Rock Hill, Duffy. South Carolina that does it. Refining fire chilies. Yeah, that's it. Refining fire chilies. He's got a, he's got good, he ships good live plants. Uh, we're getting ready to pick up on the Reaper Grow plant. Uh, are you on, Tom? I am on, but I'm on Jim Duffy's page now, too. So back to YouTube. I'm there. Let me try this. Share screen. Oh, no. You want Cancel. me to walk out there? Yeah, Just but... Pick up the laptop. I'm not going to pick up the laptop and walk out there, Tom. Stupid. Be walking backwards trying to show him plants. No, we'll, we'll, we film, we'll film something tomorrow. I don't know if the Wi-Fi will connect down there, but I don't need Wi-Fi, man. I got my Mefi. Remember when that truckload of dirt showed up and I took a picture and posted it on Facebook? People were like, "Are you amending your your fields? What are you doing with all this soil? We're planting seeds with it, and you should see we put a dent in it." So we far. put a big ass <laughs> dent in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, refining fire chilies. Oh, Blake, you should have started your seeds a while ago. I like pepper. Uh, we started pepper. over a month ago. But get, get them started now and get, get them out there into the sun. Uh, there's one more Danielle sauce we got here. This is scorpion. It's called Sweet Scorpion. I don't know about you, Tom, but these last five have all kind of tasted the same with various spice. Uh, what do you think? I liked I liked the sweet chili sauce. I did not like the sweet habanero. I didn't. 
Why? Like, I don't know why not? about it. I didn't like why not? it. Just, you didn't it had it? a different flavor to it. I didn't really like, I don't know. What's potassium sorbate? It's a, it's a stabilizer. This one has salt, water, peppers, distilled vinegar, cornstarch, salt, scorpions, garlic, paprika, onions, potassium, and xanthan, and sodium metabulsophate. Where do you think she metabisulfate? Gets she could get our match from us because we don't use salt in our match. Yeah, we don't use salt. Like I like the idea of having sauces without salt. Like Mountain Monkey oh. just asked a, a good question. What? Uh, Sander, I never top my plants. I let nature take its course. Uh, how often do you get a variegated plant pop up from a strain that isn't variegated? Well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen pictures of our fields, but they are massive. And when you, you're planting high five digits to medium six digits of the same variety, you can walk through the field and you can see variegated, different colors, all sorts of stuff. It's just the way nature takes its That's course. That's how you take the colors right you just yeah. isolate the colors out i just isolate the colors out and that's how i get new colors i mean you can do it chemically but it doesn't always reproduce all right tom scorpion mm. i got not, a, i got a that? scorpion seed what do you mean what is that I guess it's a chunk of pepper. It felt weird in my mouth. Yeah, it was a chunk of pepper. Mm. That one's hotter. Very sweet. Sugar is always the first ingredient. I mean, I understand why Mike brought them in because Mike's a big barbecue guy, and all of these would like go great on, on barbecue. barbecue. Uh, but I don't see them going good on, well, you know, stir fries and things like that, too. She's a really nice person. Yeah, I like they're, they're nice people. Uh, they're good people. And overall, I would say, you know, if I didn't have them in my store, I'd purchase any of these from uh, from them. Yeah. Uh, Made in Oregon. I didn't realize she was in Oregon. I mean, yeah, she is. Uh I got a bunch of seeds in my mouth, though, from that spoonful. Well, why is sugar the first ingredient? Because these, all these hot sauces, and they're supposed to be hot sauces, are uh, more of a barbecue sauce. And most barbecue sauces start with sugar to give it that sweetness and the, uh, the texture. I've always uh, said that every sauce maker has, like, that... You can, it's like a thumbprint. It's like a fingerprint. Every sauce maker has a certain style, and Danielle's is obviously sugary. Yeah. Sweet, you know? Yeah, but it's, it's good. Like I said, it's not bad. I'm taking yeah. two of them home myself, uh, maybe even three. Uh, overall, Tom, flavor. On the last one? On all of them. On all of them? I'd give her a thumbs up. Okay. Like, on average, like, she nailed it, like, what she was going for. I, I think it's good. Yep. Can I post pictures of the ones I review? Mm, yeah, I guess so. Post them where? Where would you like me to post them? InstaTwit. Oh, look. Pepperette is hidden back there. Someone said, uh. Yeah, it got covered up with ingredients. I think they, stuff. maybe on Facegram or. Institute, yeah, or tickety talk, tickety talks. I don't know. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Oh, Tom, yes, Ed. grab one of those boxes over there. The ones over here. What? Oh, yeah. your tumbler, yeah. Which one? Remember, guys, no, not those two, the other ones. Those two are the ones, right? Yeah, well. 
You're not putting them online? They are online, but I I wanted to show them these. All of them? No, just a couple of them, just to give them an idea. And maybe we'll give two away. Oh, that is one of the ones. Yeah, wait a minute. That's the one you're going to give me, right, Ed? Is that the one you want, Tom? I, I, yeah. Check out that. Check this out, what a friend made for me. And we've got a few of them to put online. Look at this. Smoking Ed's World Ed. Famous Peppers. And look what it says on the other side. Pepper X. I like these. I really like these a lot. Like, well, do you want this one, Tom, or do you want one of those? I like the ones that look like a can. Okay. Like they're, they're pretty awesome. All right. So I don't know which one. Show which them one that one. Get. Which one do you want? I don't know. There's a whole stack of them over there. Like this one, like. Show them. Look. It looks like a it looks like a soda can except for it's hot sauce like the oh boy garlic soy it's our label on a on a thing and look at this one oh that's the one I want taco that's the one I wanted okay Tom I love you buddy <laughs> I love you too Ed here you go all right all right so now you gotta grab me another one cause I'm gonna give away one of these or what? a couple of these what? yeah. No. What? Don't do it. Yeah. Well, these guys all stuck in and watched us review these things. And, uh, is this the, oh, this is the same one you just gave me. Okay. So maybe we'll give away one of those. Uh, really? Oh, uh, why? I, I have, I have a couple people in my house. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you guys don't know if you want the same cup. <laughs> Jeez, old Pete. So this one's the Oh Boy Garlic Soy Pepper X edition. Oh. What's that one? This one's my favorite new sauce that Ed came up with. The the wing. If you guys haven't tried wing thing, it is like it's it's completely unique. Like I mean, how Ed came up with it, I don't know. It when is, I when I was telling him what amazing, ingredients we were going to use, he was like, sauce. "What?" It's freaking Are amazing. you sure? <laughs> I mean, the complexity of it and everything, like, it's freaking amazing. I like to do things a little differently. Yeah, I would have never thought to use those ingredients. Like I said, every sauce maker has, like, their own, like, something that is just weird. Yeah. Awesome. So, we're going to pick a... A couple people, I don't know, two, four, maybe six. Who knows? It all depends on when Linda calls. Well, that's a that's an awesome cup. Huh? I don't want to give away any of these cups, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I I love you guys and all, but all right, mustard so, dill, mustard dill, mustard dill. So, who should we give a cup to, Tom? That's totally on you. I mean, it's going really slow. You can probably read it. I just do like this when I pick people because I don't want to. I, I feel bad not picking like, I don't know. Yeah, we put basil and pepper sauce. And to answer your question from earlier, yeah, you can isolate that. Uh, yeah, basil and we got a couple sauces with basil in it. All right, Joshua Anurez. I just picked you. You got the old boy garlic soy. Oh, boy. You got to send an email to the staff at PokerBuffPepperComedy.com. Let them know that you won the oh, boy garlic soy Let them know you won an oh, boy garlic soy tumbler. Like, these might be one of a kind. You never know. Like, Or I might make a thousand of each. I hope you do, but, like, these are, like, pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, and... What's up with the corn and peppers? They want you to bring back that, that sauce, maybe. Yeah, maize craze. Maize craze. <laughs> Guess what, Tom? I found some labels today. We got some mash <laughs> over here. We might make some. Uh, Tom. Yes, Ed. Are, are we going to give away that mustard dill tumbler, or sure. are you just going to sit there and no, fondle it? No, give away the mustard dill tumbler. Make, make sure I, it's cool, man. Yeah. Mustard dill and, oh, and these things come with, like, straws. straws. And, 
those so, reusable straws yeah, and little brushes for your straws and little brushes my wife tells me i can't put those straws in the dishwasher but guess what they go in the dishwasher i wash everything so it's going in the dishwasher i won't put my new cup in the dishwasher All right. though. i'm trying to see if we got someone we haven't uh picked before Oh, heckling the heat. Yellow is your favorite color. Okay, it's for you. So All send right. an email to staff at buckaboutpeppercompany.com. Tell them you won the Monster Dill Tumbler. Monster Dill Tumbler. Yeah. What's this one down here, Tom? That, that's that, that taco one. Oh, your <laughs> taco, taco one? My taco one's up here. Okay. Do these things fit so inside? we're going to give away a taco one, too. I think they could fit inside there. I don't know if they fit inside or They're not. They're going to fit inside. they got to be shitting out. They don't fit inside. This yeah, but it's going in a new box anyway. Yeah. Okay, so just slide it in anyway. But then the lid's open. The box is open. Okay, well then don't slide it in. Do whatever you want, Tom. I'll slide them in so they get <laughs> shipped. What, what color is the taco one again? What color is it? It's green. Is it green? It's green. It's mm. really cool. It's really cool. Oh, is this? No, this isn't the taco one. This is the wind thing. That one of those must be the taco one. This or is, this one right here. This is the wind thing. Okay. I like the wind thing too. Tom, do you want one for your bride? <laughs> what other ones you got over no, here? No, you can have one for your bride. What other ones you got over here? Uh. -uh. These are like. What's this one? This is mustard dill no, again. No, this is jerk. Oh, jerk. That's a yellow jerk one. Okay, who could be a jerk? <laughs> no. Are you on give with the jerk away? No, we're going to give away this taco. No, I want the taco one. We want a screaming Mimi for that taco sauce. Yeah. This one is Sasan. You guys know about Sasan? It's delicious. All right, let's give away the Sasan, Tom. Sasan. How come there's only five flames on the Sasan? I don't know. Sure. Huh. I guess it is it, out of six flames. I guess like it, you can get hotter. You could. You could. Like it's you can not, always get hotter. It's not like gators straight. River City Sasquatch. Konnichiwa. Who knows Sasan? Who's had the Sasan sauce? That's what uh, I mean. like. Who's had the Sasan? I don't know. Any of you guys have this song? I don't know when they're putting them on online, but there's a few of them that are going online. Someone keeps on sending me a text that says, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. Who? They're texting you? Yeah. How'd they get your number? I don't know, but I'm going to block them. Who wants Ed Curry's number? No. Gosh. <laughs> Anybody can find it if they look. He's up at 4 a.m. and he goes to bed around midnight. Call him any time. Shut up, Tom. <laughs> I just want to go to bed, man. Uh, oh, you haven't given But that away such yet. is the life. Which one is that? That's the Sasan. 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 S A Z O N. Has anybody had the Sasan sauce? Ah. Uh. Hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, Sander has. Should we send it to Sander Martin? Sander, send an email. Staff at PokemonPepperCompany.com. And let them know you won the Sasan Cup. Sasan. Sasan. All right. Wow, did we go through that pile that yeah, quick? I don't I think we've given away enough of these one of a kind cups. I think we have two for today <laughs> because tomorrow who knows? I might give away the 12 I'm supposed to. I might give away a few more. Who knows? I might give away the whole business. No one can tell no, me. Don't do that. No one can tell me what to do. We're, we're still waiting for that I'm magic number to get to a tree farm. Yeah, we're going to get a tree farm. Tom's hilarious. Get him and Bella together. Uh, when I get the two of them together, it costs me money. 
too much conspiracy for one room. How many peppers do I have that are hotter than Pepper X? I will tell you this. There is at least one that you guys know about. And there's probably a whole lot more. Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about that stuff. My attorneys get real angry. Uh, I can't wait for Ed to start breeding in the greenhouse at, this year. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we got some fun stuff coming. <laughs> and I've decided, you know, I've been trying not to crossbreed too much because we've got a lot we're working on. But I decided this year I'm going to really go for it. I mean, telling telling a mad scientist to stop doing science doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, but, you know, one of my goals is to spend more time with my family this year. I'll take care of the greenhouse. You just do your thing in it. Oh, no, Tom, we're going fishing. And we got to clean up my yard. <laughs> well, that's weekend work. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I got a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Set all the wood chips on fire. <laughs> Did you show him your flamethrower? I don't think so. Show him the flamethrower, Tom. <laughs> I've fished in the Chesapeake quite a bit, and I love it. Look at Tom's flamethrower. Wee. 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 He takes care of those weeds. It's called the Red Dragon. The Red Dragon Flamethrower. I think that's model 3500 or something. It, it's cool. It's cool. It 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 does. It's got a big old propane tank. Yeah, yeah it does 500,000 BTUs <laughs> in a very in a very uh <laughs> very tight circle. I think we should try it, though, Tom. I think it'd be fun to try. So what if we set the wood chips on fire? We put out new ones every year. And the amount of money in pork, or what are they, irises? <laughs> I didn't think. say to set the irises on fire. Ooh. I'm talking about the grass. I understand that, but it's in between. The yeah, irises. but no, we can play with the grass down by the driveway. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, and see what happens. Uh, I roasted a pepper outside when it turned it black. Uh, David Gray, <laughs> uh, I breed more peppers for uh, color and flavor and other traits than I do for super hots. Uh, because the super hot market is a very limited market, uh, but, you know, good taste in peppers that everybody can enjoy is a much better market. I mean, look at that pink panther pepper that hit the scene a couple of years ago most sought after seed out there and it tasted like crap tasted like crap and it was someone else's peppers well, just it renamed was a, it was a cool looking yeah. pepper now yeah. you can buy the seeds like any time but at the time when they came out it was mm -hmm. like the most sought after pepper seed ever mm. yeah Kay daily uh it is good good to be seen and Everything's going okay. All my problems, pink tiger. Pink tiger. All my problems are problems of privilege. Okay, all of them, uh, and I, you know, all the all the challenges in life. I believe God has put in my life so that I can grow, and then be able to share my experience, strength, and hope. Because someone like one of you guys is going to go through the exact same thing that I've gone through. Oh, someone is suggesting we char chilies with the flamethrower and make a Tom's char chili sauce. We've got an actual chili roaster for doing that, but the amount of peppers we go through to make a kettle of sauce, that would take all day just to roast them. Yeah. And frankly, uh, other people do. Yeah, Charman uh, brand has good yeah. roasted chili sauces. Other people do great roasted chili sauces, and I don't need to jump into their wheelhouse. I can stay with my own wheelhouse. I've got enough ideas. If we do all of my sauces, guys, that I've got written down, just the ones I got written down, not the ones that are in my head, we're going to have like 500 products uh, on the shelf. And everybody's going to be cursing me for the amount of money I tie up making those products uh 
I want Pepper X stickers too. I got one for the back of my car. I just haven't put it on because my transmission light keeps coming on and the car has like 200, 250,000 miles on it. And so I don't want to put a good. And we've made a it. bunch of Pepper X stickers. I'm just waiting for the final, final, uh, uh, the lawyer actually to. <laughs> Yeah. Tell us it's okay. Bella's been working on something. Oh, before. Unique Garlic is one of my favorites. And guess what? Coming out with the Pepper X version. <laughs> I think that would be really good. The flavor of Pepper X mixed in with the... Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Well, you know... I am starting to lose some of my hair. My dad kept his hair oh, I've lost until he until he died. I don't I don't really want to write on my head because I don't want any more to fall out. And people are like, "Are you doing a comb over?" Well, no. I've had the same haircut and the same hairdo since I was like four. It's not a comb over. It's just the way my hair has always been. And if it gets too thin, I'm just going to shave it all off. No, I'm good, Ed. No, I'm good. I was just about to talk about body dysmorphia. Oh, what's that? Well, that's they, they told me I had body dysmorphia because I always viewed myself in a negative light and always thought I was looked worse than I, and, you know, and getting over that stuff, like, like actually accepting yourself for who you are and loving the fact God made me a little chunky. God made me a little bald, you know? I, who cares? I still, when I go to the beach, I take my shirt off and let these moves rock it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> my kids get embarrassed and say, Dad, will you put a shirt on? <laughs> it, it comes with wisdom and age. Like, you just stop worrying about that stuff. Right? You stop worrying about a lot of things, Tom. Yeah. Uh I worry about yeah. what to cook for dinner. That's about my big, biggest worry nowadays. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say that's my biggest worry. Well, uh, you've got a company and stuff. I'm, no. Uh, even though I know I'm doing a good job. I know in my brain I'm doing a good job. In my heart. I want to know that I'm raising my children... Uh, to be productive members of society and to make a difference in life and to have the same values that I have. Uh, I know, you know, I pray with both of them every night. I know they have faith. Uh, but, you know, I don't want them to have to go through all the things I went through to learn the experience and get the uh you know, get the gratitude that I have in my heart, you know. Yeah. And that's that's my biggest worry is my children. I want I want them to be safe. I want them to be happy. Lead them up in the way they should go and mm -hmm. when they are old they will not depart yeah. from it. You gotta yeah. put it you gotta put it in God's hands and they're gonna travel down. Oh, the I road. put it in God's hands, but you know uh, my parents didn't want me to travel the road I traveled, but me, mine didn't either. They led me in the right direction when I was young, and when I, when I finally got back on the right path, I appreciate everything they did for me. Correct. Correct. Oh, there's a bunch of hearts for you, Tom. I'm going to put some hearts on there for you, and maybe some of these uh, popper things, and a hundred percent. Yeah. I like doing that. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I don't worry about the business because it's God's my boss. And if he decides to shut this down, it just means I'm supposed to do something different. I don't, back I don't, Eddie's I don't worry. YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't worry about, uh, I don't worry about my, my family here at Pucker Butt Pepper Company uh, because I'm a pretty smart guy, you know. I'll make something else happen that'll keep everybody employed. Yeah, you know, there were times where I didn't have two pennies to rub together, but I made payroll every two weeks. You know, uh, so I'm not worried about that at all. You know, I just don't worry about the things normal people worry about. You know, 
I don't. I worry about silly things. Like, are my moves too big? No, I'm teasing Tom. No, I worry about sil silly things. Uh, things I have no control over, that I'm powerless over, and that are in God's hands. And all I got to do is listen to a song on the radio, and I remember that I'm not in control, and uh, then it makes me at peace with the silly things that I think about at night. Thank you for saying that, Beast Mode on the Road. Apollo is amazing. Do a heart with your hands and it should show up on the screen. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, look at that, wow. Tom. How did you do that? How did I do that? Tom, yours looks more like it. Oh, oh look it. I did it wow. too. Wow. Thumbs up. Now I know what to do when I say, I love you guys. <laughs> Come on. I'm not good at this. Oh, there it goes. I love you all. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. Congratulations, Ghost Pepper Geek. Congratulations. Uh, so, Tom. Yes. How are we going to plan for the solar eclipse? How am I going to plan for the solar eclipse? Yeah, how are we going to plan? Are we coming to work that day? Is it a work day? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're coming <laughs> to work that day. Are we making hot sauce that day? We can call it eclipse hot sauce? I don't know. Should we have a sale that day? Yeah, hell yeah, we should. And the eclipsing prices. Eclipse, should we give the full eclipse price off that day? <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> but we will do something special. Yeah. Uh, and we're getting ready to bring back some sauces that have been uh, out of stock for a while. And we're just going to do limited releases. Like, I'll let you guys be the first to know that Smoking Racha and Reaper Racha will be back very soon. I love those sauces. And I already said that I found some uh, uh, Maze Craze labels, and we might make, you know, just 10 cases or something to Maze Craze. What about an X-Racha? X-Racha? X-Racha. We're not bringing them back full time. We're just going to run out of whatever we made. What about making an X-Racha? Okay, Tom, I don't like that sauce. Why do you want me to put I my like favorite that pepper sauce. in it? Oh, okay. I like it. Oh, okay. So I'll just change my whole sales plan to Pepper put Pepper X. the most delicious pepper Sriracha. out there. It's such a mild citrusy flavor. The Reaper, I honestly, the Reaper tastes like death. You can't cross those plants. They don't work. you got to stay within the same family. Are we talking about tomatoes and peppers again? People tomatoes spicy and peppers. Tomatoes. Spicy tomatoes are They're good. both in the nightshade family. Yeah. You know I've made them. <laughs> How about grafting a pepper onto a tomato or grafting I've a done them both. A I've done them both. It works. It works. Uh-huh. Dark Brandon sauce for the eclipse. No, I I don't have time to uh Mike says get heck yeah, labels. X -Racha. That's two employees that say X Racha. You guys are fired. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it said Brandon sauce for the eclipse. We can't make labels that fast. And uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, but maybe we'll sell Dark's Empty Soul for the. We gotta get rid of the rest of that and make him just a joyful, peaceful He's person. He's becoming more like I don't know about joyful. I wouldn't use the word joyful, but he's less of an ass. My favorite, uh, my favorite pepper in the habanero family to grow is the chocolate scotch bonnet, uh, or the brown Congo. Brown uh, Congo is good. Yeah. Uh, who else has a question? We're gonna 
uh, it's possible to do eggplants and peppers. You can make an eggplant actually spicy, uh, but the seeds don't reproduce. I don't know why. You got to ask a geneticist. They told me they could get it done, but I had to pay a lot of money, and it was all going to be in Petri dishes and stuff. I'm getting you a Christmas No, we make hot apricot, too. It's about to come out again. We just ran out. And I had to wait for the harvest of apricots to start happening in the Southwest so the price would come down half of what it is. Why don't we grow um, more apricots around here? Like California, there's apricots everywhere. We don't grow a lot of them out here. We will on the new farm. On the new farm, yeah, we will. Yeah. I want to graft. I mean, you've you seen those stone fruit trees that are all grafted Trinidad together? Trinidad brown bean is a good one. Uh, I got those seeds from Chris Phillips, and we uh, we sold a lot of them. Uh, you asked me to. Don't don't get me wrong. I didn't steal it. Is Dark a vampire? No, he is not. Dark is a big cuddly teddy bear. He just tries to act cool. Uh, what do you do for teeny peppers? You make teeny bottles of hot sauce. Like, I grew a ton of peri-peri peppers. They're only about a quarter inch long to maybe at the most a half inch long. They're not even a centimeter wide, and they're a pain in the ass to pick. Uh, I don't I don't grow any more little peppers. They're just too hard to grow. Well, they're not hard to grow. They're hard to pick, and it's wasted. Yes, we've done horseradish hot sauce. Maybe we'll bring that back again. Uh, Ed, I got a question. What's that? If I got you a crisper kit, could you make a glow-in-the-dark pepper? Like a, lum a luminescent pepper with a crisper kit? Maybe. 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 You made me think of two plants that have luminescent properties that I might be able to use. Uh, <clears throat> All our years are stunted and coming up super teeny. I would get them outside, Heather, and start feeding them. Ugh, what kind of soil did you use? Tell me you didn't yeah. use those little peat moss plugs. Yeah, peat moss. Plants. Yeah, peat moss. Time. Those peat moss plugs. The roots just stunt them. Grow. It's too thick. Yeah. Do I plant companions with peppers? Yes. When I'm doing it, not out in the big field, uh, we already grow vegetables, uh, but. Uh, we usually put tomatoes and eggplant and uh, basil and marigolds and all sorts of different stuff out with the pepper plants. Marigolds keep bugs away. Uh, yes. Uh. Little sow bugs don't like yeah, marigolds. Yeah, not, not many bugs like marigolds. When are the bee farms getting here? Mm. What? When are the beehives getting here? Uh, when we get back. Yeah, we're doing some beehives here at the farm again this year. Last time they were too close together and the bees got real aggressive. Yeah, they got real angry. <laughs> did. Yeah, I got <laughs> stung a lot. We got to find that picture. My whole head is swollen up. I got stung like 42 times only on my head. Somehow they got under my head. It was just horrible. Uh, but... Wow, they're in five-gallon bags, and they're stunted. What soil were you using, Heather? I don't think the honey's actually hot from the pepper plants. Yeah, the honey doesn't get hot from the pepper plants. We make hot honey, though. We make it for heat mist, and we make it for uh, Fuego Box. I love hot honey on pizza. I was introduced to that in New York when we went to Noah to do that pizza restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, happy Frog is good stuff. Yeah, expensive, but expensive, good. Expensive, but Same good. Same with Fox Farms. Like, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, wow, guys. I didn't realize we've been on almost an hour. I appreciate you guys sticking with us. Yeah. It's been uh, a good video. I like yeah, this I question like this and video. answer stuff. I like this. Maybe we should dedicate a whole video. Maybe to we should answer. start the giveaway tomorrow uh, at 3 o'clock instead of 3.30 and do a half hour of Q&A to get things started while we're building up viewers. That would be cool. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Okay. Well, I love you guys. Yep. God bless y'all. Yep. Be kind to one another. Be grateful for the things you have. Don't worry about what other people have. They're looking at your stuff and thinking the same thing. Uh, help out a friend. Help out your family. Help out a neighbor. Just help something. Get out of yourself and do something for someone else. It's really rewarding. Don't get caught in the drama. Uh, how did I count the bee stings, they're asking? We had to pull the stingers out of my skin. I probably got bit. I probably got stung more, but that's the amount of stingers they pulled out of my head and face. Uh, they, I even had like a sting inside of my ear that they had to use tweezers to get the stinger out. Uh, I just... Uh, be grateful in everything and trust God, whatever God you happen to worship. Give grace. Give grace to others, yeah. Allow people to be wrong. You don't have to prove you're right. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how to get the peace sign. Peace out. Let's do hearts, Tom. Did they do a peace sign? Let's do hearts, Tom. Hearts. Oh, man, I don't think I can do a heart. Get a little closer. Look, there we go. Go like this. Whee! Hearts. Hearts. We love you. Peace out. Bye-bye. That was a lot of fun.